This is um, Berberus crimson pygmy. And uh, this is one of my favorite colored foliage plants for a couple of reasons. The foliage is the number one reason. Um, secondly, it's compact form. Uh, this plant is usually about two foot by two foot, usually more like 18 inches high by two, even two and a half feet wide when mature. And um, I design a lot with dwarf plants because I try and respect the maintenance needs that people have and by using something that doesn't need to be shaped by the maintenance guy, I, take, I lower the maintenance burden and I also have a better chance of the design looking the way I intended it to because the maintenance person doesn't turn it into something different because he decides it needs a trim. So. That's part of my design strategy. I kind of recommend uh, that when you're using dwarf plants that really gives you a little more control over your design and definitely lowers the maintenance. Um, barberries in general are thorny. Uh, because of that, the deer leave these alone pretty reliably. Um, this is a deciduous variety plant though, so they are bare in the winter. What's interesting is, is a lot of plants look kind of messy in the winter, uh, shrubs anyway, when they're bare. These have these kind of dark brownish red stems and because of that, I, I don't know, they, they kind of drop out. They're just not that noticeable in the winter and because it's a small plant, it's not the end of the world. So um, this is one that I'll use more than other deciduous shrubs in areas where they're more visible because the uh, the red uh, eight months, nine months out of the year is worth worth it. And also because it's one of these red foliage plants that I can use around deer and there aren't a lot of those to select from. Um, one of the things I'll say though is these are not low water. Every time I've seen somebody go low water on these, the leaves burn in a hot inland valley. You might be able to get away with that during a co in a coastal area but um, certainly not so uh, in, in an inland valley where it's hot in the 90s during the summer. I'm uh, going to need to give these regular water. I wouldn't, they're not high water, but they certainly need regular water. Also, the foliage turns red when it's in full sun. I see some people put these in part shade. You lose all the color. What you'll end up getting is this color right here. And it's mostly green and it looks almost green brown. So make sure you give these good light. This is a coastal growing ground where I'm at right now and they've still got their nice red color and they're in full sun. But this is pretty mild here. This gets a lot of fog and yet these are colored up very nicely. So put them in full sun whether you're inland or by the coast and you'll get your best color out of these. I space these uh, two feet on center, 18 inches to two feet, depending on the speed I want the infill when I'm designing them in groups. And um, I expect them to get about a foot and a half high reliably. And uh, that's what I would do in terms of spacing. So that's what I can tell you about crimson, I'm sorry, uh, Berberus crimson pygmy. Excellent little dwarf uh, red foliage plant.